Hello everyone, it's Umar bin Hussain. Previously, we have studied about strokes, which were considered as the smallest unit of Chinese characters while reading and writing. But today, we will talk about that smallest unit, which will help us in understanding the meaning of written character. This smallest unit is known as radicals. It has three major functions. Either it indicates the shape of the character, or suggests the meaning of character, or suggests the sound of character. So these radicals play an important role in understanding the Chinese character. Without knowing them, without remembering them, you cannot be the master of Chinese characters. These are 214 in total, but we will study only 40 of them, which are considered as the most crucial and most important. Let's study the first Chinese radical. Here we have run meaning people. It also has a short form, this one. So any character having this or this radical will portray the meaning of people or something related to people. For example, here we have ni meaning you. And so we can see this on the left side. Tha meaning he. On the left side this radical is present. And it is song meaning follow. So person is behind the other person so meaning following it. The second radical over here, shui, meaning water, it also has short forms. You can see it is rising stroke, tian, tian. I hope you remember these strokes as we have studied in our previous videos. So these three dots represent shui or water. Also this is another form of this shui. So any character having this or this or this will portray the meaning of something related to water or liquid. For example, here we have she meaning wash. So you can see this radical on the left side. It is high meaning sea. Sea has much much water. So you can see this radical on left side. He meaning river. So you can see this shui this radical on left side. So these radicals relate the character with its meaning. Let's see the next one. Shaw. Shaw meaning hand. It also has its short form. This one and this one. These both represent this hand. Also another one. This one. So all these three radicals will represent the activity which will be performed by hand. For example, here we have ta meaning to beat. You can see this character on left side. T to carry out. And you can see this character is present on left side. Pi meaning clap. Without hands how you can clap. This character is present over here. Kao meaning mouth. So this radical will represent any activity which can be performed through mouth. For example, ch meaning eat. On left side, this ka is present. So this ka is representing that activity. Here is he meaning drink. Ka is present. Chang to sing. Ka is present on left side in the character and representing the activity which will be performed through mouth. We meaning enclosure or box has different characters inside it. So whenever you see any character which is enclosed in this box, so that will be we, not cow. Mu, meaning tree or wood. So it will represent anything or any activity related to tree or wood. For example, here we have ban, meaning roots or stem or origin. So you can see that this is mu with a horizontal stroke over here, meaning the bottom side of tree. Here we see lean, meaning forest, and these are two trees together. Here we can see guo meaning fruit and tree is over here. Ji meaning machine and in older times machine was composed of wood. Sao meaning grass or vegetable and you can see it sao meaning grass it is present over here. Hua meaning flower sao is over here. Cha meaning tea sao is over here. So you can see all of these characters are representing atoms having leaves or something related to it. Here we have shin meaning heart, but it represents mental activities. It also has its short form this one 
and it is widely used in many characters for example this one is xiang meaning to think and you know thinking is mental activity also the nian to miss and again its mental activity so xin represents mental activities ro meaning meet its short form is this one this one also represents yue meaning moon but when it is used as a radical in the character and placed on left side it represents this ro meaning meat or flesh or something related to that a body part for example here we have fe meaning lungs and now meaning brain so you can see this so you can see this ro is present on left side z will represent something related to child hai this meaning child z is present son the grandchildren shoe meaning to learn so the child is under the roof for studying jin meaning gold or something related to metal and you can see it over here so any character having this or this will represent something related to metal or something related to money for example here we have chan meaning money and we can see this radical on left side this in silver meaning something related to metal so this radical is present on left side okay now let's do an exercise and you have to identify these basic radicals in the following characters and you have to decompose any of these three radicals it is very easy just you have to identify the radical and you have to decompose it for example let's solve this yao meaning bite you know bite is an action which is uh, performed through mouth so this cow is being used as radical and we can decompose this whole character like this mouth being used as radical it is this one and this one and this one so now all of these can be written directly from those basic strokes that we have studied if you don't know how to decompose these characters like this please watch my previous videos we have studied it in detail so now you are requested to identify the radical used in the following table and decompose any three of these characters and if you have any questions please comment in below box let's move towards next batch of radicals here we have our next radical it is she meaning evening or sunset and it refers to evening or sunset or night for example here we have ming meaning name you know it is a combination of mouth and she this she so the logic behind is that after evening or after sunset you cannot see anyone you have to open your mouth to call him by his name so she is evening or sunset me meaning silk and it has a shorter form this one and it is very famous for example here it is jie meaning not xian meaning thread so both of these are related to silk the next one is nu nu it is woman whenever you see this radical with any character you should understand that it is somehow related to woman for example here we have um tha meaning she you know tha for he is different in writing and it has different character while well, this is representing that this tha is for a woman so meaning she and it is how it is a combination of woman and a child so a woman with a child is a very good scenario the next one is shen referring mountain for example here we have ling meaning ridge and ridge belongs to mountain so the character shen referring towards that mountain the next one is chong referring to insects for example here we have wa meaning frog and you can see that chong is present over here she snake chong is over here representing that it is something related to insect ro referring to sun she is time 
and you know time is calculated and determined with the rise uh, of sun and sunset so sun is related to time here we have mean meaning bright this is joy you know joy we also have studied while learning meter flash if you remember but i had mentioned over there that when it is placed on left side it represents flesh or meat but when it is placed on right side it represents joy meaning moon when the sunlight strikes with this moon then this moon becomes bright she bumbo referring to bumbo and it's this short form is used very commonly it also has another short form this one but it is rarely used and we can see it is quai meaning chopsticks so you can see made of bumbo and b pencil in old times the pen was made of bumbo or some words like this bumbo is representing that ho fire it also has its variants four dots rising stroke tian 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 and these are always placed on the bottom side of the character so whenever you see this one or this one it means something is related to fire for example we have tang meaning lamp in older times lamp was uh, enlightened with fire so you can see this fire over here chao meaning fry so you always fry over fire and this ho is representing it on left side the next one is na meaning sick or disease so it always refers to sick or disease or being ill for example uh, being meaning sickness so so its radical covers this one and thang meaning pain and it is also covered by this na the last one for today's lecture is ma referring to horse and we have chi meaning to ride and you know riding in old times was related to horse you know horse riding is very famous so that's all about our today's lecture in my next video i will cover the remaining 20 basic radicals so do another exercise in the same way as we have done the previous exercise exercise a and we have to find the radicals that are used over here and we have to decompose any three characters whichever you feel comfortable with so take 20 seconds and then write in comment box at least the radical name and and subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching